Hi, this is Jacob. On this week's episode of the Makerspot, I'll be showing you how to exchange your Ultimaker 2 nozzle with a new and improved Olsen block. This block doesn't just extrude very well, it also has a variety of exchangeable nozzles ranging from 1mm in diameter down to 0.15mm. Let's get started! We'll begin by unscrewing the four screws of the active cooling unit. Push your Ultimaker 2 nozzle unit to one side of your Ultimaker and start unscrewing the first two screws. After you've done that, push the nozzle unit to the other side of your Ultimaker and unscrew the last two screws. Be careful when unscrewing the fourth screw. Your Ultimaker 2 active cooling unit can fall down very easily and naturally you might want to catch it. In the next step, we'll be unscrewing the nozzle of your Ultimaker 2. Take the whole extruder array and push it into the middle so you can work on it properly. Take a small screwdriver or one of the supplied Allen keys that came with your Ultimaker 2 and push it into the holes of the metal coupler. Rotate it counterclockwise and you'll be unscrewing the nozzle. Next, unscrew this little screw here. After you've done that, you can take out the heater and the temperature sensor. If you can't do it by hand, use needle nose pliers to do it. But be very careful, always try pulling on the units themselves, not on their cables, you might damage them. If you want to, you can now check if you've damaged your temperature sensor. Switch on your Ultimaker and go into the maintenance menu, then advanced and then scroll down to heat up nozzle. You'll see a readout of the temperature the sensor now reads. Take the sensor in between your fingers. If you see a rise in temperature, you know that you've not damaged your temperature sensor and everything is okay. Now we'll be attaching the Olsen block to your Ultimaker. Take the Olsen block and put the heater cartridge and the temperature sensor inside. Make sure to push them in all the way or they might not work properly. Now take the little screwdriver that came with the Olsen block and screw them in from the bottom. Next, take the assembled Olsen block and connect it to the metal coupler. Take the same screwdriver or Allen key you've used before and screw the Olsen block in by rotating the metal coupler clockwise. Screw the Olsen block in until there is a 1mm gap between the metal and Teflon coupler. After we've attached the Olsen block to the extruder, we now have to reattach the active cooling unit to the extruder. For that, push the whole extruder to one side and take two of the screws you've unscrewed before, attach the active cooling unit and screw these two screws in. After that, push the extruder to the other side and reattach the other two screws. After we've successfully attached the Olsen block to our Ultimaker 2, it's now time to attach a nozzle to it. You can see what size nozzle you have in your hand by examining the outside of the nozzle. If you find three dots there, it's a 0.8mm nozzle. If there are two dots present, it's a 0.6mm nozzle. And if there's just one dot, it's a 0.4mm nozzle. If you find no markings on the outside of your nozzle, it's either a 0.25 or a 0.15mm nozzle. If you've bought the standard package by igle3d.com, there's a 0.25mm nozzle included. After you've chosen which nozzle to attach to the printer, just place it inside the tool and attach it to the underside of the Olsen block. Screw it in counterclockwise and make sure to screw it in tightly so it won't fall off. Because we have lost some of our build height, we now have to reconfigure our build plate. For that, switch on your Ultimaker, go into the maintenance menu, then click on build plate and reconfigure your build plate by following the instructions on the screen. That concludes this week's tutorial. 
If you've liked or disliked the episode, let me know by hitting the thumbs up or thumbs down button. If your feelings are more complicated than that, leave a comment below. And if you don't want to miss any of the future episodes, just subscribe to the channel. See you next week, take care.